Hello fellow word lovers, welcome back to another reading vlog. Today I'm going to be taking you guys along my weekend of reading and just kind of chatting about the books I'm reading, all that good fun stuff. Um, ignore the way that I look right now, I'm currently sitting in my room. Um, it is about noon on Saturday, February 13th and I have a couple of things that I have to do today. Um, one of which is I have to run to Target and get some more makeup because I'm going to be filming another video today where I do makeup and chat with you guys. I thought it would be kind of fun. I'm not trying to be a beauty guru or anything, but I just thought I always like watching people do their makeup in videos. And so I thought it might be fun to do that just for like a little bit of something different. Um, so yeah, but I'm actually going to curl my hair now. Um, and I figured while I did that, I could tell you guys about what I'm reading right now start doing that my hair is like a frizzy disaster right now um because i just washed it but um yeah i i want to look cute for tonight it's valentine's it's the day before valentine's and i want to be cute so yeah we're gonna we're gonna work on that today today's project is getting reading done and trying to look cute so see you guys in a sec okay so my apologies in advance if you guys can hear the coconut stream in the background <laughs> but um that is the life of being a YouTuber couple. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start curling my hair. Um, just pulling it up real quick. So I wanted to show you guys, um, actually before I show you the books that I'm gonna be reading in this vlog, I wanted to talk a little bit about Goodreads challenges. Um, I know everybody like sets their goal for what they want to read at the beginning of the year and um, I didn't do that at the beginning of the year. I was like, eh, like I'm just going to read what I want to read. Like I don't really care that much about how many books I end up reading, but um, this month I have already read a lot and I'm planning on reading a lot more. We're only about halfway through the end of the, or we're only about halfway through the month. So um, I don't have, you know, I have plans to read a lot more this month and I'm hoping that by the end of February I'll have about eight books in total read, seven or eight. Um, and so I went on Goodreads the other day to like update my page because I wanted to start linking my Goodreads in all my videos and um, I was like, you know what, I think I could do a Goodreads goal of like 50 books this year. I did a little calculating, I'm like if I read like five to seven books a month for the rest of this year, I could easily hit 50 um, by the end of 2021. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do a 50 book goal this year. So I set myself that goal and now I'm like really excited about it because it's extra motivating me to read a lot, um, have some good content for you guys, you know, because last month in January, I only read two books, which was like nothing. Um, but I really, I'm glad I did that because I feel like I kind of needed to ease myself into the year a little bit. Um, but now I'm like in full reading mode. So I've been reading a ton. I've already finished, let's see, three books. Is that right? One or two. Yes, I have finished three books already this month. Um, Midnight Sun was the first one and then I read this Regency Romance and then I just barely finished this week. I finished Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I'd heard so much about it, and I wanted, like, a cute romance for Valentine's Day, so I read Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I was, like, so conflicted on whether or not I wanted to read it, but I eventually decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do it, and I honestly have no regrets. Um, it kind of tore me up emotionally, but I still have no regrets. It was great. Um, it was an amazing, like, amazingly well-written, and just, yeah, super fun time. Really good characters. It was so cute. Like, I'm, I'm sure most people know what that book is um, if you're in the booktube world. So, yeah, it was it was a good time. Um, but now I'm going to tell you guys about the books I'm currently reading. So let me finish this curl and then I'll show you. So currently I'm reading this one, The Hourglass Factory by Lucy Ribchester. I got it at the library and I thought the premise sounded really fun. Um, it's about the suffragette movement in London. Um, and yeah, it's just like a really, I don't know, it's a mystery. It's about this trapeze artist who's also a suffragette who has all these mysteries surrounding her and there's two different characters who are trying to figure out the mystery and solve it. So 
This one, so far, I have been reading it for a little bit and I'm having sort of a rough time getting into it, <laughs> I won't lie. Um, I don't know what it is, like I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is about this book that's making it so hard for me. Um, I think it's the writing style partly and also just the characters, like I'm having a rough time really connecting to the characters. And I think my curling iron just turned off. I don't know what it is. There's two different like characters who it's from their perspective. Um, and they're both, I don't know how to explain it. They're just not my favorite. Like, I don't, I don't know. The main character girl is like this female reporter. Her name's Frankie George. And she is like more, like she dresses kind of like masculine and she's, I don't know, like, um, She's supposed to be like this, you know, tough, scrappy girl trying to make it in the world of reporting. Um, and I just, I don't know. I feel like she's kind of wishy-washy. Like, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not super obsessed with her character. So those are my thoughts on that book. And then the other book that I'm reading is 1984 by George Orwell. I mentioned this book in my 2021 TBR video and I finally purchased this one. I think this copy is so cool looking. I love the cover. I love the eye. I love the font. Like just everything about it is so cute. Um, so I'm really glad I bought it. So good. <laughs> I got through about half of it this week and I haven't had a whole ton of time to read uh, in the last half of this week just because I was working on some other projects. But this weekend I'm hoping to get a lot more reading done obviously. And um, 1984 so far has just been amazingly good. Like, I just, wow, like, I knew it was going to be good, but it's incredible. And I'm obsessed. And I've already underlined, like, a million things and a million quotes. Because they're just too good. You can't not. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's this amazingly fascinating exploration of what humanity would be like if, like, all of our freedom was taken away, basically. And, um... Yeah, it's, it's super suspenseful, it's got a love story in there, like, it's got everything, and I don't know how this book ends. Like, I know it's, like, really popular and everybody knows what it's about, but I have no idea how this book ends, so I'm kind of on the edge of my seat right now, wondering what's going to happen, and honestly kind of terrified for the characters because they're in this really scary dystopian society, so anyway those are my thoughts on those books so those that's what i'm going to be reading um in this vlog and then the other uh book that i'm actually currently reading is cavendon hall i talked about that in my last reading vlog i was listening to it it was an audiobook that i was listening to in january but i didn't get to finish it in january um so i'm still listening to it and it is so boring <laughs> like i'm having such a hard time but i really want to finish it because i'm like 70 percent through it already so I'm so close to the end at this point I'm like I might as well just finish it but I'm getting really bored I won't lie like it was it was enough to keep my interest for the first little bit and now I'm getting to the point where I'm like okay I feel like it's getting predictable and I'm tired of it so I don't know I'll tell you guys more about my full thoughts on the full book in my reading wrap up but that's kind of my current reading update and that's kind of where I'm currently at with my books my curling iron just came unplugged. It's, it doesn't like to stay plugged in. It really doesn't. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna speed this up and catch you guys in a second. Also, because this vlog is kind of like a girly themed, I guess I'm doing like hair and stuff. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I got this hair clip from Etsy. Um, I think it's so beautiful. It was from this shop called like Stacia, I think, Stacia Accessories. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just wanted to get like a really pretty tortoiseshell clip um, after I cut my hair because I was like, I want more hair accessories. Like I want 
more ways to make my hair cute. So, um, anyways, I just wanted to show that. Um, I think I'm gonna put it like in the back of my hair. Let me try this. Probably take like a chunk of it and then just. I really have never done this before. I usually don't. I'm like not usually an accessories person, but this past year kind of changed that for me. I started buying more like jewelry and stuff, and now I want to get more into hair stuff. Um, let's see how that looks. Okay, sorry that the mirror is really dirty, but look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. I love it. That is so pretty. Okay. Now we'll get to reading. All right, I'm now in my cozy reading corner. It's raining out, so that's really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the, this book just because this one is harder for me to get into, so I'm gonna try and read a couple chapters of it and then switch over to 1984, but we'll see. We'll see how much time I actually have to read. <laughs> Okay, I just got a lot of reading done in the Hourglass Factory. Um, it's actually starting to get really good. It's getting more suspense, like the action's picking up. Um, and then some new characters have been introduced. I think what has been the hardest about this book for me is the writing style, honestly. The way that she writes, it's, I feel like I have to read things multiple times in order to make sure that I actually understood it right. Like it's, it's very, I don't even know why like I just I I don't I don't know I don't even know why I just feel very like crude way of writing like she's not um, it's not that she isn't detailed but it's just the details that she focuses on are very like crude details if that makes sense like she's she's not the type of writer to sugarcoat things or make things seem pretty trying to make pretty things with her words and she's definitely showing like the nitty-gritty the real side of these issues of you know what life was actually like back then in london how dirty and gross the city was how dirty and gross the people were like there's a lot of uh kind of just crude nitty-gritty it's it's rough it's raw um and it's really well i mean it's it's well done i think i think it's well written it's just not my personal favorite style of writing so I think that's why I'm kind of having a hard time getting into it, but it's getting a lot better and the action is really picking up and starting to like get a lot more suspenseful. So I actually got quite a lot uh, read. I'm like close to halfway done now. So um, yeah, now I'm going to read some of 1984. Look, I cannot get over this cover. I think it is so cute. Okay, sorry. Um, again, I am the worst. I never have a bookmark, so I have to like figure out where I am past the halfway I literally there was one day I was at work I think it was like Tuesday of this week or something and I read like all of this in one day I read up to let's see oh yes this I read up to here so literally like halfway through and I did all of that in one day so um We'll see how the rest of it goes. I'm not going to time lapse anymore just because I feel like I've gotten enough footage for that. Um, but I'll catch back up with you guys when I've done a little bit more reading. So I just finished filming my video where I did my makeup. This is the final look. Um, that video will be coming up next week, so you guys will see that then. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here for tonight. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the progress I got done today, and I'm hoping to read more tomorrow, of course. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. 
Uh, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you feel like it and I will see you next time.